next now we'll talk about this psychometric chart now before that this note as i said as i've given at the beginning you see for the psychometric chart if you have information about any two out of the five air properties so if you know the dry bulb wet bulb or dry bulb rh or any two properties you can calculate the remaining three properties using psychometric chart this is a condition to use a psychometric chart so now in order to use the psychometric chart you must know what line represent what property okay so for that i have given this information here you see first travel temperature can you see the highlighted lines uh, one minute let me pause this the first one you see the vertical lines on psychometric chart represent what travel see it will show in the vertical line but increase in horizontal direction to show you the vertical lines but increase in the horizontal direction for example you see this 40 40 50 60 so increase in horizontal horizontal but represented with the vertical lines this is first property simple second is what temperature. sorry ah, wet bulb so wet bulb temperature you can find out this inclined lines you can see the highlighted line the inclined line represent the wet bulb but don't get confused inclined line is for wet bulb as well as for enthalpy but you'll find the two different scales you see can you see this enthalpy also highlighted with the inclined lines with the same inclination? Can you see this online? The enthalpy, right side. Inclined and this inclined line, this inclination and the, this inclination for wet bulb are same. But you'll find the two different scales. Okay, but the same line orientation. So don't get confused. Dry bulb, dry bulb represent with the vertical lines wet bulb and enthalpy with the inclined lines towards left with the two different scales i'll show you in the, on the psychometric chart don't worry next dew point temperature you see here dew point temperature horizontal line share with the humidity ratio you can see left side is a dew point temperature you can see the highlighting of this horizontal line on the right side humidity ratio that is also horizontal line but with the two different scales you'll find the two separate scale but both represent or orientation with the horizontal only Similarly, RH with the separate curve lines. Simple, very simple. So if you know what line represents what property, with the two known properties, one can find all other properties of air using the psychometric chart. Okay, so we'll do one simple example using this psychometric chart. This is taken from train. In this way, you can find the point. I'll show you. This is just example. Now, we'll, we'll verify this example first. You see in this example, what are the two known properties given? 95 degree dry Fahrenheit dry bulb is given and 78 degree Fahrenheit wet bulb is given. Okay. So dry bulb with the vertical lines, na? you see, this is dry bulb and wet bulb is what? Incline line. This is 17. And if you just intersect, you'll get the point. This is a point. Once you get the point, if you go in the right direction, this is what? Dew point temperature. Dew point temperature. And on the same horizontal with a different scale, you will find humidity ratio okay. also. I'll show you. And apart from this, you see this inclined line is 40. And this close to this point, this RH line is showing 50. Na? So RH, we can say 50. 50%. 50 this is one example. We'll do one example in the class. Don't worry. This is just a preview. So here we'll do an example. Example one, you see, assume that this classroom at present the classroom temperature, what I have measured at the beginning is 27, 28 I got in the remote. Just assume that 27 degrees centigrade. This room temperature at present where I'm sitting. And for example, RH is 60%. So you see, I have not measured RH 60%. On what basis I can consider 60%? Based on my feelings. You, you can measure with a hygrometer. We have a separate tool for that to measure this RH, but I don't have right now. So 60%, I'm just assuming based on the condition, because in this room now, I'm not feeling the dryness of skin. Uh, either I'm not feeling the sweat. You see in my skin, there is no sweat and I'm not feeling the dryness of skin. So that's the reason I'm considering 60%. For example, you'll find one more example below. So now 27 degrees centigrade and 60% RH. And the chart what I'm using on screen, this is, see, this is based on English system. 
you see 70 80 this is english system now you can find the metric system i'll share you the software already i shared the software under smt software you can find out the psychometric software but this is a manual chart in psychometric chart at present taken from train and this is the english system and here quickly conversion is required so 27 degrees centigrade if you convert into farnet you know the conversion already discussed now f equal to 1.8 c plus 32 so i got 80 point something round off to 81 degree farnet so now i have two properties one is a dribble second is a rh so let me use this segment chart just carefully on screen very simple so we have two properties now you see 81 is a dribble so can you read this 80 here and this is 90 so this this is 95 so 95 means each division is one unit now so this i can consider as 81 right an rh 60 percent so you see this is 10 percent 20 percent 30 40 50 60 so this is 60 percent rh line so if i go straight up and intersect with the rh line you need to use the scale at present roughly i'm using you see this is the point right this is 60 percent line 60 percent rh and 81 what dribble so this is a point now with this point if i go incline parallel to this what wet bulb line i can find the wet bulb temperature now so wet bulb is what 70 one point you see 75 now this is 71 in between i'm getting so 70.5 yes. degree Fahrenheit. exactly you can measure with the scale now roughly i'm taking this is wbt now if i go beyond this and if i mark here you'll get enthalpy enthalpy and the vital temperature with the same inclination with the different scale as i said now you see you'll find the different scale and this enthalpy is what dry air and the moisture the total enthalpy not just dry air so now this is 30 what you I uh, see the unit is btu per pound of the dry air in the moisture or i can say btu per pound pound means the total total enthalpy so this is 30 35 so 31 32 33 34 right so h is what 34.5 no? 1 2 3 4 right at this level if you want you can add up also now with this point if i state if i go straight on the right side with the horizontal orientation oh, it is somewhat difficult yeah. yes, I got this and if i yeah. huh, so you see first of all what humidity ratio humidity ratio we can represent with the omega or the blue is what 90 100 can i consider roughly 95 95 95 what grains per pound of dry air remember this unit you can find somewhere you see grains of moisture per pound of dry in some psychometric chart you'll find pound per pound of moisture pound per pound of uh, the dry air don't get confused you need to verify the units mostly we are using this grains per grains per pound of dry air next dew point temperature 60 i can roughly take can can take 66 right this is what dpt can i take 66 degree fahrenheit right simple so if you know any two properties of air we can get the point with the point if you go in the respective direction orientation you can find out the other properties of air for what for load calculation in the time of load calculation we, we required this properties of air to find out this heat gain through ventilation or infiltration for delta w means humidity this uh, delta refers to this humidity ratio so difference in humidity ratio required this property is required so we can find out with other pro two properties of the room air or the outside air we required the, for example delta w means we required w o minus w i w o is a outside humidity ratio w i is a inside humidity ratio so in order to find out this w i and w w o and w i so w o we can find out with the outside two conditions like dry bulb and wet bulb w i we can find out with the inside two conditions like dry bulb and rh rh we are maintaining 50 percent so one can find delta w that can be used to find out the latent heat gain through ventilation and infiltration this is example but don't worry we'll do the calculation at the time of load calculation okay oh, so i'm not getting this point can I explain which one the delta w delta w is what difference of outside humidity ratio minus inside humidity ratio mm -hmm. so in order to find out this w o we require two outside condition and two out con outside conditions say dry bulb and wet bulb if you know this using psychometric chart we can find out this w o na? 
-hmm. Similarly, for WI, we required say dry bulb and RH. RH we are maintaining 50% standard. Dry bulb is a 76. Using these two parameters, we can find out WI. Once you know this, we can find delta W, which is required to find out the latent heat gain through ventilation and infiltration. This is just an example. We'll do the calculation. Don't worry. At the time of load calculation, when we deal with the ventilation and infiltration, we'll find out this delta W. This is just a preview. At this level, just focus on how to use the psychometric chart. That's it. The delta W is difference of humidity ratio, right? Ah, outside. Between outside to inside. Forget about this. This is just, I have given the preview. Hmm. But this is important at this level. To, if you know this, then we can calculate this at the time of load calculation. We'll do the at the load calculation. This is just a preview. This side is important. How to how to use this psychometric chart? That is important. Clear online? So some more examples are given in the notes, even in your previous notes also. You can try this example after the class. You'll find some more points uh, related to psychometry, uh, like uh, humidification, dehumidification, contact factor, bypass factor, and this coil. You see the black color is a coil curves. We'll discuss this at this level i'm not explaining this because at this level we are just learning how to use this psychometric chart at the time of application we'll discuss more points like contact bypass uh, factor that is very very important now how to use this psychometric software which is further easy so you can find out the psychometric software under the smt software folder and just double click and install after completing the installation you can find out this psychometric software you see how to use very simple First, you must select the type of the chart. And you see what we did till now, this manual chart. Remember, this is based on atmospheric pressure. Or in other words, I can say the standard psychometric chart is based on the atmospheric pressure. Barometric pressure, 29.9 inches of what? Inches of mercury or else 760. If you convert into mm, you'll get 760 mm of Hg or one bar. So this atmospheric pressure, no? So the standard psychometric char chart is on is based on the atmospheric pressure. If your project location is above or below the altitude, means the sea level, we can change this. You see, we have this 2,500 feet above sea level, 5,000 feet above sea level, 7,500 feet above sea level. Okay. So as per the location, we can change, but mostly we are using this standard at sea level. And when I click the sea level, you can find the same. You see 20, 29.92 uh, inches of Hg or else if I change this to metric, you see I can change simply metric by clicking this uh, SI, means SI metric, you can notice, you see 101.325 kilopascal, nothing but one uh, one bar no? or 760 mm of Hg, you know these conversions. So you can decide which unit you want to use according to the you can select. For example, again, I'm using IP because the example what we did in manual is IP. After that, what you do simply verify this psychometric uh, chart number suppose i'm using carrier one then use this option state point and process when you click this you'll get a window in that window click add a point and provide the two parameters the example one was 81 degree fahrenheit dry bulb you see dry bulb is a basic requirement and after that the second property you can you can select so second property in that example we consider rh now I'm selecting RH and enter 60, for example. When you enter this, you'll get all the properties. You can read. You see wet bulb is 70.5, what we got. RH is what we have given. W is what? Humidity ratios, 90. Uh, here you see what we got, 95, one minute. Uh, we got nearly that. No? They have written wrong, but you see, this unit is important. You must verify. In some charts, you'll find pounds per pound. Here it is given grains per pound, which, which will match with the previous manual chart. So don't get confused. Here you'll find specific volume, some more parameter. Enthalpy. 34.5 we have taken, we got 34.4. Dew point temperature, 65.5 we have taken, 65.8. You can run up to 66. You can find all this property. And when you click apply, close, you can notice the point you can find here. New one. I have not renamed that season, I got new one. So let me, you can rename also. You see, I'm going to name this as, say, room condition. We will get the point here. And we'll get all the properties. Very simple. No need to verify from the chart directly. You can click here, you'll get all this parameter. And further, we have psychometric calculator also from Ashray, which is same like this table. Let me show you. You see the psychometric calculator, which I already share in the under this SMT software. 
here in this table if you enter the known properties the two known is what dry bulb say 81 and rh we have 60 in the example one in example two is different you can find the properties and in this you see you can select grains per pound of dryer or pound per pound of dryer for the units given or else if you refer this example number two If your dry bulb is 60, wet bulb is 55. So dry bulb I am entering 60, wet bulb say 55. Now I can verify all the points. You see, R is 74. Here I am getting 73.2. Just this was taken from the chart, so it's a rough. And humid ratio 56. Here I got 56. Here 56 point finance, so I can run up to 57. Now dew point temperature 51. Here 51.4, so I can take 15. Enthalpy 24. Enthalpy 23.19. So this is from the chart. This is more accurate. In actual practice, at the time of our calculation, we'll use the psychometric chart or the psychometric soft. In manual, also you can use because that much accuracy we don't require because we are not dealing with uh, with the component designing. No? We are dealing with the system design. If you are dealing with the precision air conditioning, then more accuracy required. But for human comfort, either you can use the one chart also. Okay, so this was about chapter 3, simple, limited, but very important. But some more points like psychometric analysis, contact factor, bypass factor, humidification, dehumidification, heating process, cooling process, all this we'll discuss. This is not actually the end of psychometry. Mm -hmm.